Hi, my name is Adam Janjua. I'm a GP in Lancashire and I'm also the chair of the Filed Coast Cancer Steering Group. So what are the more common signs and symptoms of bowel cancer? I'd like to start by talking about blood in the pool or having bleeding from the back passage. If you're experiencing new onset bleeding from the back passage or seeing blood in your pool, that needs to be looked at. Even if you've had a diagnosis of piles in the past and the bleeding seems different, we would urge you to get it checked out. Another symptom that you might be experiencing if you have bowel cancer is a change to your normal bowel habit. Now this could range from having looser bowels, much like diarrhea, or you could find that you're having to go to empty your bowels more frequently during the day. Ideally for this type of symptom, we would suggest that we wait for at least three weeks to see whether this is a consistent and continuing problem. If it is, we would urge you to seek help. Then we have the slightly more vague signs and symptoms of bowel cancer that can range from having a feeling of wanting to empty your bowels even after you've gone and done a poop. Some people would experience pain from the back passage that is new and unexplained. Other people can experience uh, abdominal pains that are unexplained. Some people have even noticed lumps in the lower abdomen uh, that might be vague and ill-defined but uh, are not explained and they should ideally be looked at. I would like to finish by talking about general signs and symptoms that you might experience with any type of cancer but we do see these presenting as bowel cancer as well and they are having a weight loss that is unexplained. So ideally a, a weight loss of 5% or more over any period of time um, that is unwanted, i.e. you're not dieting to try and lose this weight, should warrant a discussion with a medical professional. Other people experiencing um, night sweats, where you're feeling yourself being drenched in sweat um, you know, during the night or at odd times that can't be explained by temperature changes. So you know, the temperature is not, the heating is not turned on to the max and you're still feeling really hot, especially if it's combined with weight loss. And finally, tiredness. Um, tiredness and fatigue that isn't explained by um, habits or, or things that are going on in your life should ideally warrant a discussion with your medical professional, be that your nurse or, or your GP. We prefer it that you come to us and, and speak to us about things, even if it might not turn out to be cancer. But if it is, we can catch it early and give you the treatment that you need to ensure that you survive. 